A. What's good? I'm Kinell and this is Sinister Cinema where we get deep into the guts of classics and new releases from horror and exploitation cinema. Be sure to follow us up on the socials, that's Sinister underscore cinema on your Twitter and Sinister dot cinema on your Instagram. Yes, okay, today uh, I just caught myself a little rattle this morning. Fucking particularly good one this. Fucking, not to get too spoilery with it, but yeah, fucking, I'm fucking glad I paid that money. This one, uh, I've got, got to give a big shout out to Andy and Mitch over at Strong Language of Violent Scenes because uh, I believe the director's a mate of theirs and they kind of put me onto this. This is a new one by Graham Hughes called Death of a Vlogger on your VOD platform of choice right about now. So yeah, let's have a look at that then. Roll over. Uh, close now. Adiokies. <laughs> Top five essential items to pack. Five worst things about flying. There's four ways to pass the time. Where to start? Graham, he's a fud. Right, that's about it for today. As always, like, subscribe, comment, share, and of course, for more content, please, please follow me. But yeah, I was going to be answering your questions as they came in, but. The video was live streamed, so once it was done, it was online, and people, well, people were scared. Aaron convinced me to come back um, to investigate the ghost. This alleged ghost that exists in his flat. Why, why would someone do that? I mean, I'd, I've seen a lot of paranormal activity in my time, right? I mean, the bottom line is, uh, we need an expert. I don't think there's anything more important in the paranormal world right now than getting to the bottom of what's happening in flies. <laughs> the fallout for Graham at that point it was terrible. Like, he just became a different person. Hashtag fucking fake news. You know what I mean? We're living in a post-truth world here. Please stop. Please stop. Had some motherfucking ghosts. Death of a Vlogger, yes, available now on your on your VOD streaming platform of choice. I cut mine off Amazon Prime for a fiver. It's on your Googles, your Apples, all them kind of ones. You know where you rent shit from. But yeah, go there and you can rent it. What uh, this concerns is a fucking vlogger. Fucking never would have guessed it, would you? Scottish guy, he's got a bit of a blog and there's some kind of like spooky shit going on. But how much of it is fucking actual spooky shit in kind of a found footage paranormal activity kind of way? And how much is it just that fucking YouTubers are pricks? Speaking for myself here, can confirm that's true. Everyone who is a YouTuber is a prick. So, whilst the dude appears quite likeable and definitely appears to be troubled by something, he's probably some kind of prick. They, he's done, fucking how they put this film together really impressed me, because uh, you, you really couldn't see the seams at all. They worked well within the format and uh, sort of cap and properly captured the kind of people that would be involved in this kind of thing. Graham Hughes, as well as directing, plays the main character. Fucking spot on, he just strikes me as what a Scottish vlogger would be like. Uh, later on, uh, kind of a ghost hunter character gets involved. And I, f I follow a lot of, uh, what should we call it, uh, sort of paranormal YouTube channels. And I think there's a bit of a kind of Scottish Zach Baggins thing goes on about this, but like a lot of what they're trying to do with the various characters is very, very accurate. And I like that it's in this world of YouTube, this world of sensationalism, this world of obtaining views and all this kind of shit, because what the, that frames things interestingly, because it, 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 it makes the whole thing a bit more confusing and up in the air. Like generally, there isn't a reason for normal people to fake that there's supernatural shit happening around them. But people who, who, whose lifeblood 
is views and shit. Yeah, in their case, there probably is. And fucking, it deals with a lot of interesting uh, concepts, like in the wider scheme of things, related to social media and the dopamine you hit you get from likes and views and all this kind of stuff. And the fucking backlash when you become a social media addict. And then, the, what should you call it, you start catching some fucking hate for one reason or another. Now, I've got a small as shit fucking absolute bottom tier YouTube channel right here, but I've been doing battle rap for a good five years now, and trust me, online hate is a real thing, and it's very fucking difficult the first time you find yourself up against it. Seriously, them death threats, I fuck all in reality, but fucking hell, the first time you get one, you fucking remember it. But yeah, still. So yeah, I've Thought that was particularly good the way it was put together because obviously as you may well guess because of the nature of it there's kind of a found footage thing going on so uh occasionally you see have some shit moving weird little things like that and it's all orchestrated very very well fucking uh what should we call it there's no uh, like end of fucking first paranormal activity film where it just goes fucking stupid. None of that like, it's fucking subtly and well done like fucking, I don't know, we must have been looking into like uh, physical magic and illusions to do a lot of it. There's, the, the, the way it's done like is fucking pretty fucking seamless. This strikes me as like quite a low budget production, but you'd have, the, there's nowhere where you can see it looking low budget. Fucking it looks how it should look and that's fucking genius in itself which I can always appreciate so yeah uh, what's called that as I said I got the VOD of this uh, I, I haven't found any details for a blu-ray release but I need this in the collection so if that's happening that is gonna fucking on-site purchase for me definitely getting myself one of those but yeah you can check this on your various VOD platforms all of them kind of thing there uh, yeah uh, be, uh, oh yes yeah, Speaking of battle rap, fucking, uh, if you head over to Don't Flop, I've got a new battle out. The last one I did before it got locked down. It's uh, me, Kinell versus Hulk. That's on Don't Flop now. Uh, so that, that was a fucking banger, little one rounder. Check that out. I fucking, I remember that one. It was the, it was, it was the last, uh, it was the last event before shit started getting properly locked down and COVID was becoming a thing. And I got the National Express down there. That was one of the most scary experiences of my fucking year. Because that was when we really didn't know what COVID was and fucking if there's any place you get up the fucking that's rife with disease it's fucking changing a Victoria coach station in London trust but anyway regardless yeah watch the battle them ones there be sure to follow me on the socials that's at sinister underscore cinema on your Twitter at sinister dot cinema on your Instagram leave a comment down there if you've seen the film let me know what you think of it fucking I've got to say like uh, I haven't really heard any bad opinions from anyone so I reckon you'll pretty much like it. If you haven't, then please do so. Fucking let me know if you have been inspired by this uh, video to watch that thing. And uh, what should you call it? Comment, subscribe, like, all them fucking YouTube things. You know them ones. Fucking vloggers. Bunch of bastards, aren't they? Hey, safe.